here savages, man. Hey, they just shut down the league. Them boys are savages right now, man. Them boys taking water and all that, man. <laughs> taking the water. When a football league suddenly folds with players, coaches, and trainers left high and dry, apparently not even the water is safe. You're looking at video taken by player Charles James of other players carrying bottled water out of Memphis Express offices today as word spread that their team and the AAF League is shutting down. Just eight weeks into its first season, Memphis' latest experiment with pro football is over. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Today's announcement of the Spring Football League's indefinite timeout blindsided fans, coaches, and even players. Some took to Twitter. Their frustration of having taken a chance on a new football league with big plans absolutely shattered. For example, player quarterback Johnny Manziel posted, the last check you got will be the last that you get. No lawsuit or anything else will get you your bread. Save your money and keep your head up. And that was one of many comments that were made. Let's go one-on-one -on -one about this development today with Local 24 Sports Director uh, Doc Holliday. I guess we knew from the very first week uh, when there were concerns that they would make payroll, we knew that the business model here was a little iffy. Yeah, I really didn't understand it as well, man, because going to the Memphis Express games, one many people there. Especially at the Liberty Bowl, you don't have corporate partnerships, you don't have a huge television deal. And watching the games, man, commercials, man, was shown like after the first quarter. So I was even wondering... How were they making any money? And now we know they were not making any money because after the second week, barely made payroll. They had to get Tom Dundon, man, the owner of the NHL's Carolina Hurricanes, uh, business owner, to pledge $250 million. He didn't just give $250 million. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to pledge $250, $250 million and give y'all a little bit every week to see how it's going. But he saw that uh, it's not working, man. So take that pledge so, back, no money. You had to feel for the players and the other staff. I mean, they weren't making a lot of money, some, somewhere between fifty, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year. And as we saw from some of the tweets we had uh, to show you there, you know, th some of these guys are homeless. Yeah, they are, man. But you know, I've been in that situation before. You know, uh, they can go back home. They came from somewhere, yeah. came to Memphis. But I do feel sorry for them because a lot of them expected to have this opportunity, man, to kind of, some of them get back to the NFL and hopefully get a chance to get invited to an NFL training camp or OTA or preseason training camp or uh, get a chance to make an NFL team, man. They were thinking about that and now, you know, those hopes are dashed. But they do have some film. So what about the XFL? People want me to ask you about that. We know that's the next league to start up. Or is it this whole notion of spring football is it just kind of a flawed concept? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the XFL right now because uh -huh. uh, they're supposed to start in 2020. Now, they did have a team in Memphis. The I Maniacs, remember. I remember. And that lasted one year. They right. did make a, a whole year. But uh, as far as Memphis having a team, no, they already got their eight, eight teams, man. League on just like the AAF. But this time, Vince McMahon is taking his time to get it done right. So We'll, we'll see what, that, what happens no with that. Uh, real quick, what do you got coming up in sports? Uh, more of this Memphis Express, man. You know, hear from some players. Hear, hear, hear from the general managers. They talk about uh, shutting things down, man. It's just, it's just a sad day for those guys. And sad day for a lot of people that went out to... I won't say a lot of people. For the people. The like, people who did show like up. Like five or six that went out there to the <laughs> and watch the game. All right, thanks, Doc. We'll see you in a bit. No doubt. Katina.